Hey everybody, what's up, dude? So <laughs> I installed iOS 11.0.3 on my iPhone 6s Plus. And we're gonna go ahead and take a super quick look at it, but I have a super quick weird thing to say. My iPhone 5s iOS 11.0.3 video I did yesterday, for some reason, was not able to be monetized. And it was actually the first video that I've ever had that happen. And I requested it to be reviewed, but now it's fixed, so now it's monetized again. So I don't really know why that happened. Like I know like the whole adpocalypse thing or whatever, but I didn't really think it was gonna affect me, but for some reason it did. So that's really weird. But overall, iOS 11.0.3 really only fixed some of the main problems that the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6S were having. So for the iPhone 7, there were some noise problems that were going on. So I, I guess, you know, I'm not really too familiar with it, but some people were having problems. Luckily, hopefully it's fixed, but some people are still saying they have problems with it. And for the iPhone 6S, there's some display issues for some like generic displays that some people put on their phones. Maybe they're not fixed by Apple or something like that. So they fixed those, the haptic feedback for that. So if you like 3D touch, on something like the little vibration that you get that's basically what like happens there but beyond that there's really not too many features i would say i actually just installed it yesterday this is my daily driver but i haven't really seen too much change honestly one thing that was really bothering me is that if i hopped out of safari i, I i've only done this in safari i'm not really sure with other apps but if i hopped out of here and i quickly like swung through like the pages the app icons would like go way out of place it's so weird i've never seen anything like that before i'm gonna try my best to reenact it right now so if i like go up here I'll quickly hop out. And another way that happens if I'm like scrolling through when I like just unlock my phone, sometimes it happens then too. It's kind of weird how that happens, honestly. <laughs> but beyond that, there's really not much more I have to add here. It was kind of a quick update. 11.1 .1 is looking up to be like a huge upgrade, so I can't wait for that to come out like officially without all these betas and stuff. If you're on iOS 11 at all, I would say update to 11.0.3. But if you're on iOS 10, iOS 9, or whatever, don't update yet. Wait until 11.1 minimum comes out i would wait until like 11.1.1 .1 or even 11.2 but if you have to get ios 11 then go wait until 11.1 .1. and yeah guys that's pretty much it if you're new here though add me on all the social networks you see on the screen like this video if you enjoyed it that would mean so much comment if you guys have any questions or concerns if you want to see me like compare the 6s plus or something i don't know like it's just let me know in the comment section below but if you're extremely new here subscribe to this channel i'm trying to get 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year we're like so close i can almost taste it so guys come make my dream a reality hit that subscribe button but more importantly than anything else i love every single one of you guys and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then